In this video, I am going to demonstrate in detail, step by step, and as thoroughly as I can, how to disconnect the touch bar from the main board of a 2020 13-inch MacBook Pro with the M1 chip, specifically the MacBook Pro model number A2338. These are the required tools. Number one, Pentalobe 1.2 mm screwdriver, also known as the P5 Pentalobe screwdriver. Number two, T5 Torx screwdriver. Number three, T3 Torx screwdriver. Number four, a suction cup. Number five, a plastic pry tool or a plastic credit card. Number six, a MacBook charger and charging cable. Number seven, a small piece of double-sided tape. Number eight, a sheet of paper. Number nine, a pen or pencil. Number 10, solid fingernails. Number 11, steady hand. The time required to complete this task ranges from one hour to two days depending on your proficiency with electronics repair. Experience in car or appliance repair can help. Some footage in this video may appear shaky because I was performing the repair and filming at the same time using both hands. It wasn't exactly an easy job. The total monetary cost of this repair was 4,700 Korean won or $3.40 in US dollars. Let's begin. Step 1. Unscrew the 6 screws on the bottom cover using a Pentalobe 1.2mm P5 screwdriver. Remember this phrase, lefty loosey, righty tighty. You also need to keep track of which screw came from where as the screws are different lengths. I did this by drawing a diagram on a piece of paper. Step 2. After the six screws are unscrewed, use a suction cup to pull up the front right corner of the bottom cover while inserting a plastic pry tool or credit card into the gap. Pull the suction cup firmly while sliding the pry tool between the cover and the frame Step 3. Insert your thumbnail into the gap and push downward while pulling the cover towards you with your remaining fingers. Push and pull firmly until you hear a pop. Step 4. Repeat the same motion with the front left corner of the bottom cover until you hear a pop. Step 5. Once both front corners are disengaged, slide the bottom cover downward. This step may require considerable fingertip strength as the cover is held in tightly by clips. The trick is to gently wiggle each side downward little by little. Step 6. With the bottom cover removed, we are going to disconnect the battery, peel off the plastic cover slowly and set it aside. Step 7. Delicately flip up the tiny black plastic latch on the battery connector with your fingernail. The latch mechanism is similar to this, though very small and fragile. Flip the latch up before pulling the cable to the left. Step 8. Gently pull the black battery cable to the left. Step 9. Use the T5 Torx screwdriver to unscrew the silver screw. Then place the screw on your diagrammed paper. Step 10. Lift the black metal tab using either your fingernail or a plastic pry tool. This tab must remain disconnected to prevent an electrical short. This step is very important. We want to be 
extra cautious when handling lithium-ion batteries as they are prone to fire hazard. Step 11. Open the MacBook and press the power button for more than 15 seconds. This discharges any remaining power. Step 12. Using the T3 Torx screwdriver, unscrew the three screws securing the touch bar and USB-C cable bracket. Track the screw's locations with your diagram. Step 13. Remove the touch bar and USB-C cable bracket. Step 14. Use your fingernail to gently disconnect the EDP flex cable with connector calling. This cable transmits video graphics data to the touch bar. Step 15. Gently disconnect the touch bar flex cable. This cable provides power and transmits input and output signals to and from the touch bar. At this point, the touch bar is completely disconnected from the main board. Now, let's start the reassembly procedure. Step 16. Place the touch bar and USB-C cable bracket back in its original position. Using the T3 Torx screwdriver, reinsert the three screws. Tighten just enough so they are snug. Don't over-tighten them. Step 17. Push down the black metal tab with your finger. Then use the T5 Torx screwdriver to screw it back in place. Again, snug, not too tight. Step 18. Reconnect the battery cable by sliding it gently back into the battery connector. This part can be tricky because there is no clicking sound. Use the guiding black tape to gently pull it to the right. Don't pull it too hard as it might tear, but don't pull it too softly either. You just have to feel it go all the way in. Step 19. Once you feel the cable is properly inserted, close the tiny plastic latch with your fingernail, like this. Step 20. Open the MacBook and plug in the charger. If the MacBook powers on and everything works correctly, you have reassembled it successfully. Notice that the touch bar is now completely off. Step 21. Reattach the black plastic cover by placing it back in its original spot. It has adhesive on one side, so press it gently into place with your fingers. Step 22. Now, about the bottom cover. This part took me longer than expected. The job itself was technically done. The touch bar stopped flickering, but I struggled to close the bottom cover completely. The issue was the internal space tolerance of the MacBook is practically zero. The flex cable I disconnected added just enough height to prevent the cover from sealing properly. That's where the double-sided tape came in. I used it to hold the touch bar flex cable next to the bracket, not on top of it. The EDP flex cable can sit on top of the bracket because the bracket has an indentation on the side but the touch bar flex cable cannot. So attach a piece of double-sided tape as shown in the video and gently secure the touch bar flex cable next to the bracket. Step 23. Slide the bottom cover back into place by aligning the two clips on the cover with the two clips on the MacBook frame. Wiggle both sides upward gently. This part requires patience, finger strength, and persistence. This is also why the task took me two days instead of the estimated two hours. It was my first time disassembling a MacBook. I have never encountered this kind of issue on Windows laptops before. The teeth on the cover clips must align with the teeth of the clips 
on the frame perfectly with a slight angle. At the same time, the cover must be pushed upwards with your fingers and leave no gaps on the four sides. Step 24. Use the Pentalobe 1.2mm screwdriver to reinsert the six screws into their original locations. Make sure the screw lengths match their original positions. Now the task is complete. The touch bar went from this to this. This was Hong Guan. I hope this video was helpful. A like would be deeply appreciated. And if you would consider subscribing to the channel, I'll be truly grateful. Until we meet again, take care.